one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to a set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It just knocks everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job on. There's the combo downstairs. Turns on that exchange. And now he's targeting upstairs. 
combo in this round. Hey, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll take one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going to watch that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Bad intentions is dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Ortiz's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's the time to punch it. Timing can be speed. Halfway through round six. Towards the bell, last 